swear I only end up getting gas when I'm like on the vlog because outside of there I really don't be getting gas like I don't have my nose ring in you guys I forgot it don't have those wind? Dang, my shit's not that exactly 40. That's so funny. $40 in the tank. Alrighty. Oh, I'm sitting here like, what is fucking. I'm just gonna keep the air on for a sec. Liquor bottles, turn up! Hey, turn up, bitch! Woo! It was hot as fuck. Oh! stores everywhere like you guys are very unlucky I'm gonna keep it real and we're finally home hey guys so today I don't know today I think today is the 16th or something like that I'm not really sure but um I just uploaded my Kim Kardashian Jeffree Star video I literally rolled out of bed and recorded like I literally felt something in my soul if you haven't watched that video Shit, check it out. It's gonna be old news by now, though. But, um, you guys are really feeling me on that video. And honestly, I typically. <coughs> I feel like my opinion is just usually the unpopular opinion, not to say it's right or wrong or whatever. Um, but I just feel like my opinion is usually the unpopular opinion. And I am very much. The type of person that is like, if you don't have anything nice to say, then don't say anything. And I'm very much the type of person to say, like, I'm not going to put my opinion where it's not needed or asked for. With that being said, I feel like me talking about a situation like that is me talking about something I'm passionate about and something I care about. Like, that is where my opinion is definitely, like, important. That's where I feel. But, I don't know. I guess I just have to find the balance in not... Trying, trying not to like put my opinion where it's not needed and like putting my opinion where it is needed because the stuff I have to say sometimes I do be thinking like damn this is pretty important like this is some important shit and that's exactly how I felt about that particular situation like it I guess you could say it hit home whatever I guess I'm black racism you know it should hit home for everybody that's the problem you know so yeah my phone's been blowing up. I had to turn off my notifications. <laughs> my phone actually died and I'm in the car so it's taking a while to charge. I honestly don't mind because it's like my phone is like blowing up. I really appreciate the support from everybody. Like there really hasn't been um, too many trolls as I expected. I feel like Jeffree Star just brings trolls. Like so I just expected hella trolls and hella negativity like regardless that I wasn't like even saying anything wrong in the video you know. Um, but everybody has been super positive and super supportive and that's why I fuck with y'all like y'all y'all get it you know y'all y'all actually get it and that's why y'all are subscribed to me and that's why you know we got this dynamic going on even the people that didn't necessarily disagree with me like I could appreciate that they all some of them were but that they all weren't necessarily like disrespectful like in that video like I said you don't have to care you don't have to understand but if that's the case then just like be quiet you know you could be supportive or you could be quiet why can't those be the options why does it have to be i'm not gonna be supportive 
and I'm not gonna be quiet you know I feel like it should be either be supportive or be quiet so yeah definitely done talking about it I don't know if I'm gonna be able to go through those comments after today because there is so many comments like I'm sorry so many way more than I'm accustomed to you know over here on this little old channel <laughs> But yeah, I'm actually pulling up to my mom's house since my phone had died. I was about to go get some food, but I figured I could just eat here. And I think she's going to be home from school soon. So, yeah. Any other protein? Shrimp. And crab. Shreamy crab or soft crab? Um, shreamy. She's having a hard time. How's it going, Mom? <laughs> Good morning. Um, it is another Saturday, so I'm on my way to my mom's house. I was not in a good mood yesterday because I was just feeling a little cooped up. Um, I've been working on my sale, which those sales take a lot only because I usually pile up stuff. And then by the time I'm selling it, there's so much that it's like, holy shit. Oh, I haven't really been out much like this week. So I just kind of been in the house for like a week, basically. So that was like starting to affect my mood. I noticed that when I've been in the house and stuff for too long that um, I start to feel that way. So I tried, that's why I tried to get out. Today I had got some great news and then I got some bad, some potentially bad news that will take the good news away. And I'm very, like, irritated about it because it's something that could have totally been avoided. I honestly try not to get into, like, too specific of situations. But just, you guys, you guys have to be careful with who you trust, like... Because people will really put you in a bad situation, whether that be on purpose or on accident. People's, uh, I mean, it's negligence. It sounds negative because it's negla, negative. I don't know if that's like a rude thing to say about somebody or like, well, I mean, I guess calling somebody negligent is rude. But I mean, I'm not really trying to be rude, but like people's negligence, like they will really set you up like to, to fall like because just because it's you know it's not really their ass on the line and that shit bothers me like and i don't think people do it on purpose i think that naturally when for some people i'm not gonna even say everybody because usually like i really do be feel like i be on my shit like i would not get into a partnership business anything or just any type of partnership with somebody if i wasn't prepared or at least prepared to get prepared you know i feel like people just because it's like their stuff that, or it's not their stuff sorry like they're not they don't really have to be the one to worry about it that they just don't really care and they're just kind of like eh well i can just eh and that's not popping because others could get affected by that especially if they're depending on you and like trusting you don't take that shit lightly. Don't abuse people's trust. Because motherfuckers like me, I really don't trust a lot of people. Like, I wouldn't trust a lot of people in my, like, personal, personal life, in my personal space. And that involves, like, my money, like, any of that. My money, my home living, and all that stuff. I don't trust too many people in that space. So, it's like, if I'm giving you some kind of trust to enter a partnership or, or enter my space or anything like that, and then you kind of, like give me a reason to not trust you anymore or you do something that's like super negligent or just like irresponsible then i'm just gonna be like especially when it like literally directly affects me like it has it, <sighs> you guys don't even know
Okay, so this Saturday we're doing buffalo sliders or regular cheeseburger sliders. And it is baked beans and potato salad. And I just filled these. This is what you will get to go with your burgers. Good morning! So we are off to kind of a bad start. I had um, I had did the sale and everything so now I'm basically for like the next three days or until all the orders and stuff are gone I'm gonna be mailing and like getting everything ready to go and one thing that makes that really easy for me and makes it me able to get y'all shit out like hella fast is my label printer because I don't have to print labels or I don't have to like hand write them they're just gonna be printed for me so my label printer of course ran out of my label printer ran out of paper so now I'm trying to find paper to go in it like not anything like crazy and I can't find it I went to Office Depot and they didn't have it and now I and then they they recommended that I go to Walmart who also didn't have it and now I'm about to go to Office Max and I called ahead of time and the lady said that they have the stickers that go into a label printer but they only have like that specific kind I did not think that this was going to be a hard task like I've already been gone for over an hour and I thought it was going to be something that was really fast so I stopped at the post office and got some more flat rate ship things but I really really don't want to have to manually write labels because that alone will take me so long to get everything shipped and everything done. It's raining once again today. <sighs> My fucking God! Get the fuck on, bro! I hate when people drive stupid for literally no reason. Like, it's barely even sprinkling. There's no reason for you to not fucking drive your car. People be in the car going all of five miles per hour. Like, where is that the speed limit at? Nobody can get anywhere going that fucking slow, bro. So, yeah, anyways, as I was saying, um, it's 11 now. I thought I wanted to be home. Like, if it hit 11, I was going to have to go home. So, I'm going to make my way downtown right now. Um, I want to come up with like a list of stuff that I need to buy for the move because I really just will go into a store and start looking at stuff and start buying stuff I think I did pretty good with the stuff that I bought though because um office max office depot whatever they were having like uh certain stuff for a penny so I do feel like the stuff that I did buy like I got a pretty good deal on I just need to get more stuff and I need to know what I actually need to buy instead of just buying random shit. So yeah, um, but I guess I'm pretty much just gonna go home now and I am getting ready to do a post office run. This is all stuff from my sale. I don't want to show you guys too close because I don't want to get anybody's. There's Gemini. Lots of stuff, you guys. I can't wait for you guys to get it. I told you everything's going to be shipped out this week, and I mean it. So, let's get this stuff to the post office.